Well, welcome here at Leica in Solms. Uh, 2014 marks the 100th anniversary of Leica. And uh, at the same time, this means the full format is also 100 years old. And uh, at the same time, very many manufacturers follow that track and invent full format new camera models. With me here at Leica, uh, please, uh, Mr. Stefan Daniel, uh, who is Leica uh, Head of Product Management. How does Leica answer the format question? First of all, we are very proud that uh, Oskar Barnack invented the Oleica in 1914 mm -hmm. and set uh, the pillars for uh, the so-called full format today. Mm -hmm. Uh, but at Leica, since a couple of years, we also do cameras in other formats than the 24 by 36. We have the medium format system with the S, and we have also the APS cameras uh, with our Leica X series. Mm. So uh, the first uh, Leica system with a different sensor size uh, rather than full frame has been the S system. Uh, for whom is this the ideal format? Uh, the S system as a medium format camera is the ideal combination, we think, uh, between size and the compactness and uh, the, uh, the ease of use of a normal 35 millimeter uh, full frame camera, but with the great advantage to have much more resolution, much more reserves in quality, in imaging quality, and also a very shallow depth of field. Well, on the other hand, there are Leica cameras with APS-C sensor size formats or even smaller. Um, is this still a Leica? Of course it's a Leica because it's, a, it's built like a Leica, the image quality is like a Leica and we think that APS format makes a lot of sense for uh, different target groups and um, for, for people who are maybe not so, uh, so well experts in photography. Uh, because we think that uh, the combination of the little smaller sensor gives a broader depth of field and therefore also um, a, higher, uh, a higher depth of field which is better for the not so expert uh, am amateur. Well, m many, many photographers define themselves nowadays by which format they are using and for, for quite a lot professional photography starts with full format with 35 millimeter sensors. So Stefan Daniel, is this justified? It is justified in a sense uh, from what application you come from. And uh, there are many applications where a smaller uh, size factor of a camera system may make a lot of sense. For example, if you go on, on holiday or if you want to carry it around all day, a smaller uh, system and with a s uh, sensor format smaller than uh, full format, uh, 35 millimeter, may make a lot of sense. Well, this is uh, uh, according size, then there are different sensor technologies. Leica is using CCD as well as CMOS. And how do you comment on that? Uh, we, we employ both and many people think uh, there is a big difference uh, in the touch and feel and the look and feel of CCD versus CMOS. Mm. Uh, we think uh, a pixel just renders light or transforms light into electricity mm. and uh, the look and feel is done in the image processing. Mm. So uh, on the other hand, the uh, CMOS sensors have a lot of advantages such as video and live view and therefore we think uh, CMOS sensors have the future at Leica. So according, according to the future, what, what is next? What, what do we have to expect from Leica this year? Of course we have Photokina this year and we are uh, having uh, a lot of new products for Photokina planned this year. Of course I cannot tell you today, oh. uh, as always, uh, we uh, do our launch of Photokina products at Photokina. Well, there will be something else new this year with Leica. You are moving from Solms to Wetzlar. When will that happen? Yeah, we plan uh, the official inauguration of the new plant end of May this year. Mm -hmm. And now uh, the movings are in the making, in the running. So um, we, we're going to have everything in place by the end of May. Well, thank you very much, Stefan Daniel. Very uh, well. Thank you for watching us, and uh, we see you at Photokina. Thank you very much.